Mark Westendorf, and coach, uh, obviously conference play here tonight, and you had to take it up another level and found a way to get a, a win over a, a good effort from Purdue Northwest. Yeah, Gleak plays a grind. You know, it doesn't matter who you're playing, doesn't matter where you're playing. All right, you know, you got to bring it for 40 minutes. I don't feel like this is one of our prettiest basketball games, but we were really tough. We were really gritty. I thought we did a nice job defensively. You know, I think they had one decent quarter there, that third quarter, but everything else, like holding them to 57. You know, holding them to. I mean, they shot 40 percent. You know, it wasn't our most stellar shooting game either. But defensively, we did a good job when we had to. Like down the stretch, when we needed the big stops, we got the big stops. We talk about winning plays that you got to make when there's about six minutes to go in the game. It could really go one way or the other, and we made the winning plays when we needed to. Obviously, on the offensive glass, uh, you outscored them 13 to 4, 10 offensive rebounds. Did a nice job of finding ways to come up with uh, some big points offensively. Yeah, it, it, a lot of it wasn't super easy with draw-ups. Kind of near the end of the game, everything we drew up, kind of they, they did a nice job defensively and kind of, you know, they're a physical team. They kind of get you out of your rhythm a little bit. They kind of reroute you when you're driving. They reroute you when you're cutting. Um, so we, we had to find a little bit of a different way to get it done, and a lot of it was just our kids making those toughness plays when the play broke down. So I, I, I'm just kind of seeing this for the first time. Adrian did a great job. Chloe, down the stretch, was what we needed Chloe to be. You know, she was a little bit of foul trouble throughout the game, but then when we really needed it, we were going to her. Obviously, uh, you, some nights uh, you're not going to shoot the ball that well. Caden Blanchard, an example of that, but found a way to, to make plays in other areas. Uh, took a big charge there going uh, down the stretch here at the uh, other yeah, end of the that's a, That was an absolutely huge play for us. It seemed like they might have had a little bit of momentum. She got herself in a defensive position early, and that's just the kind of kid she is. She's tough, you know, and then looking right down there, three for 16, she's not going to be too happy about that. But if we can win a basketball game where Caden shoots three for 16, that means that we're a pretty deep team. You know, that means that we're going to be able to do some things. If we can have her as one of our better players have that poor of a shooting night, and I guarantee you on Saturday she's going to be back in here and she's going to be back on top of her game. Speaking of uh, back in here, playing at Big Rapids High School, what was it like uh, playing in this facility? And obviously uh, close to campus, but uh, kind of a home away from home here this weekend. Yeah, it's not really a home game. It's not really a road game. I guess you might call it neutral, but like we're, we're very thankful for Big Rapids High School to be hosting us. You know, it's great that they have this nice of a facility with a good 94-foot court. The lights are bright. Like Big Rapids High School has been nothing but great to us as far as being able to host us. You know, it's a great court to play on. I think it's a great gym to shoot in. You know, we only had one practice in here, but it's the same thing for Purdue Northwest. So it's going to be the same thing for Parkside. Still 10-foot hoop, still 94-foot court. You know, I can get Hoosiers and bring out the tape measure if I need to. But we're, we're just very thankful that we just have a chance to play, and hopefully uh, our volleyball team can be doing some things as well as well as our football team. Obviously, uh, you had a chance to play some tough regional matchups before the, the conference play started. Uh, how much do you have to really step it up another notch here in the GLIAC as we saw here tonight? Well, I think we saw that we're going to be tested a lot more than the non-conference did. We had a couple of tough games, but we were able to kind of work on some things in the non-league. You know, but our girls, you know, they're not overconfident. You know, having that nice record, the nice thing is they're not getting cocky. They're not getting ahead of themselves. You know, they know what it takes to win, and they know that when we're doing those things, we can be a good team. But if we let it slip, and then now all of a sudden we try to do our own thing, and we just kind of let our standards drop, then you're going to get beat any night in the GLIAC by any given team. You can see tonight, like, they didn't have a very good record last year. I guess we didn't have a very good record last year either. But there's not going to be many games that are that are beyond a six-point margin, an eight-point margin. Everything's going to be a couple possession game. Finally here, uh, taking on Parkside on Saturday. And I know a, a quick turnaround time as you get ready for another conference matchup. It's a quick turnaround, but we like it a lot better than last year's quick turnaround. It's kind of nice having that one day off. It kind of be nice to play a new opponent. You know, they're a very high-powered offensive team. Alyssa Nelson can flat-out play, preseason player of the year. So we're going to have our hands full. we got to have a good practice, good preparation. But we're looking forward to be back in here on Saturday. Coach, congratulations on the win, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thank you so much.